We have a timeout on the floor. You better believe it. And uh, the timeout. But they're right there. That's Hobson. And then timeout on the floor. Definitely looking to regroup and get some momentum into the game. So Coach Luis will definitely be have a few choice words for his players there. Well, the, the, the thing about this timeout is definitely about uh, those two turnovers by um, Fer Ferroviario. And, you know, they occurred in the low post. And the coach will not be happy with that. So clearly, whoever's receiving the ball in the low post, just uh, dribbling the ball too much and allowing the defense to collapse, and thus uh, affecting those steals. Certainly, because uh, as, as a big, you certainly want to put yourself in a position where there's minimal bounce, but more impact when that ball comes into that paint area. So let's see if they can have some corrective measures uh, with that. Ferroviario yesterday uh, finishing the game with 12 turnovers, one less than uh, the uh, Matero Magic. So they played a really good game in terms of uh, taking care of the ball. Retention is a very important element um, as we get a foul call today in the paint. Michael Murray going to the line, the charity stripe. Well, that one will count. Will Perry, the pass inside. L. Well, beating a double team, and uh, that double team with two undersized players in uh, Langston and Razakaria. And just uh, easy pickings for Michael Murray. There's a new way to split that uh, double team on that foul. And uh, rebound then, uh, put back uh, to make this a four-point trip for Beira. Certainly coming out strong after that timeout. Obise with the offensive rebound and the finish, Ratiana Rivo. Obisa with the rebound. Perry. Oh, he's back. Perry cooking. Obisa with the offensive rebound. Mofunanya. Ratiana Rivo. Yeah, pardon me, that was uh, Namade. Ismail Nemamade couldn't hit on that three. Langston. Umedi, top of the key, rim shot. It somewhat feels like after a good start on the inside, Cospin has now uh, settled to playing outside. Uh, looking like they're taking one too many jumpers there and having a very low success rate at it. Um, oh. Well, this is just uh, one of the adjustments that uh, they need to make, you know. They need to kick that ball inside, get Emmanuel Umeidi as well as uh, Bishop Coulter in the low post and uh, scoring in the low post. So they've made the change with Alpha Solandrini checking into the game. And uh, Solandrini as well, looking after yesterday's game um, against City Oilers, looking... Um, like he also likes shooting from outside is a first to playing in the low post although he can't give them that scoring because uh, he can't rebound the basketball absolutely and a lot of times you will hear uh the, the the disclaimer that we we can only blame steph curry for that because everybody wants to play outside <laughs> and shoot the ball well it's an all round all round game and when the ball stolen away Mofunanya, no look pass. Ismail Namamade with the finish. Way to draw the foul there and uh, goes and one uh, for the charity to the charity stripe there. The foul on uh, Emmanuel Umedi. So five point lead for Ferroviario. And that timeout looking like. Uh, 
it's made a difference. It has indeed, uh, because Cospin also has not scored since that timeout. So looks like uh, Beira is steadily getting that momentum. Completes the three-point play. And the lead is six for Ferroviario. Well, Eli Randria Mapianona has uh, checked into the game. Omedi. Three doesn't go for Todi Sinaina. Out of bounds. And uh, it will stay with uh, Ferroviario. Changes again as uh, Orlando Rahaja Niaina checks into the game. Murray. Obise, the drop step, turn round jump hook doesn't go. Rahaj Naina. Tori Masinaina on the finish. Way to finish it uh, on that break there and uh, just ending that run for Beira. Ismail Nermamade. They let him go and he's on a back to back three point play. Um, going once again to the charity stripe. Well, that was a lovely take. Goes to show that you have to stay woke on that uh, inbound, just a quick step. You can't stop him, late on the help, charity stripe. Oh, that baseline was wide open and beating the defender. On the play, and just a nice finish by Ismail Nemamade. Fundamentals. Baseline open, you have to punish. Solon Trainer. Cross court to uh, Randria Mampionona. Off on the three. Obise. Rolling to the basket. Gold hand. Can do that all day, all night. When your big can roll, you definitely have to reward him. Nine point lead for Ferroviario. And uh, going on the two and a half minute mark, Rahajinaina. Obise will pick up the foul, and uh, it'll be a side ball. And immediate changes for Obise. So uh, the coach, Luis Hernandez, needs him in the game, and uh, he'll get uh, Joel Ndondo in the game. And there was substitution there to just get the big man resting for the last two minutes of the quarter. Randria Mampianona can't finish on the three. Dondo with the rebound. Perry. Dondo wants to work against uh, Solandrini. That'll be a travel by Dondo. Superb defense by Solandrini. Very good collapse there. He just could not recognize that he had an outlet pass that he could make. Um, out, 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 out the arc there, his man standing wide open. Uh, good defense there by Cospin. Appealing for the foul, but uh, doesn't get the call. So it'll be Cospin ball. Rahaja Niaina. Well, was looking for Colter underneath the basket. Ball ricocheting off the side of the backboard. Perry on the pull up. Perry on the three. Bottom from North Carolina with love. He just saw that coming on that catch. That he was ready, form is ready. Don't sweat the technique. Colter, cross court. Randria Mampianona. 90 seconds to play. Perry. Rahajani Aina will pick up the foul. And here's uh, some of the things that uh, coach of uh, Ferroviario as we head to a uh, a timeout, so Perry on the drive, 
once again making those forays into the key and fouled by Orlando Raha Jinaina. So uh, we have a timeout on the floor. And here's the thing about uh, the Ferroviario team and the adjustments that the coach needs to make, needs to work on uh, managing the minutes of uh, Murray as well as uh, Perry. I mean, they played 30 plus minutes yesterday against the Matero Magic, needed them on the floor. But, uh, you know, once again, this points to the over-reliance uh, on uh, the Americans. Very, very true, uh, because you look at the entire roster and you definitely have to have adjustments and guys that you can put in there so that, you know, it, it doesn't overburn some of your key players. You know, you have to definitely manage those uh, minutes properly so that you don't find that uh, down the road your main guys are not burnt out. Certainly have to share that love. Roster management is very key in these situations as we see Will Perry uh, going to the charity stripe there. Perry with the make. One, two, one, two, one, two. One shot. All right. Misses the second uh, as uh, the ball remains uh, with Pivevario, uh, with Beira there. Uh, and uh, as we see Will Perry going to the bench and uh, on the floor, here comes Male Malele. Malale on that inbound. Setting it up there, looking at it. Boom! A big, big, big three there uh, by Munguambe. Munguambe there with the three. Great rebound there, Malale. Another drive there, big move. Gets fouled there and will be going to the charity stripe for another one. He just made a big three, big drive now, and he's on point to just make it a six point play in two possessions. That was big. Standing by there on the charity stripe uh, to, to, to convert or attempt Ayad Munguambe. Looking at it. Lane violation called there by the ref. Cospin will inbound. A minute to go in the first quarter and they will certainly look to get some traction there and finish uh, the quarter strong and look to go into double figures as they've been sitting at eight in their scores. Block there, Mungwambe on the break. Malale looking at it. Spreads the love, other side. Ooh. That would have, de he would have definitely wanted that shooter's roll and throw, just couldn't get it. Cospin uh, turned it over as well. But under 20 seconds to play. And now with the, an 18 point lead. Ndondo can't hang on to uh, that pass from uh, Hilario Malale. They had a nice play yesterday with uh, him cutting into the key. But Razakaria will bring it up. Ball ricochets off uh, the foot of uh, Ayad Mungwambe. And uh, that will do it for the first quarter. So very slow tentative start for both teams. But Ferroviario showing and proving that they are aggressive and are ready for this morning's matchup. And they are right now flirting with a 20-point lead at the end of the first quarter.
certainly believe that coach uh, Louise will be happy with that uh, start. Um, oh. At the end of the first, Cospin 8, Ferroviario de Beira 26. Biggs, Juana, and uh, chatting to Ndono because they are focusing on the performances of their bigs after what they did yesterday. The mood obviously positive because they had a good first quarter, and I'll get back to you uh, with the mood from the other bench as the quarter continues. Well, thank you very much, Q. And uh, we are back to the action. And uh, Perry on the floor, uh, on the bench, and, uh, you know, showing approval and uh, affirming his teammates as well. And I like the fact that towards the end of the first quarter, after those uh, free throws, his coach uh, subbed him out of the game. He needs a rest. He definitely does, because uh, to your point earlier, you know, you do not want to overexert too many minutes on, on, on him. And you definitely want to give him a few uh, points of rest within the game, especially when you're holding such a big lead to start. Ratiana Rivo, mid-range jumper, gets it to go. And it's a 17-point lead for Ferroviario, though. Dondo, oh, very nice. Very smooth with the finish, the big man. Oh, that was a lovely cut right through the center of the key to receive the pass and then the jump hook. Ratiana Rivo will pull up for the three. Can't get it to go. Good travel uh, by uh, Beira as they're now bringing it up to the other end. Mungwambe entry pass. Finished there under the hoop and a very beautiful one by Ndondo once again. This is an example of what uh, the Cospin front court is supposed to be doing. Sharing the love. Malala. Emelinda Novella is in the game. Malala against Langston. Definite uh, travel. Leaving both his feet. And then uh, looking to take uh, that first step. Elvis Juana. So it will be Cospin Ball. And uh, we still have eight and a half minutes to play. And of course, if you're watching from home, watching from the World Wide Web, do show us some love. Hashtag Road to Bow. Yeah, we are streaming on many platforms online as well. And uh, this is a Johannesburg to the whole world. To North Carolina and beyond. <laughs> Shout out to Will Perry. Yeah, to Antananarivo as well as uh, Beira. Colter. Ball stolen away. 
down the floor. Malala with the finish. Way to trail there by Malale. Definitely a great one uh, on that trailer and uh, from that after that steal. Well, lovely defense by Emelindo Novella. Foul is on the floor and it'll be a side ball and it'll be Crospin. Crospin will keep possession. Very Vela clean. with the steal. There. That was very clean. Very clean there. You definitely want active hands and good awareness as well from that uh, uh, pass to Malali for the finish. Well, lovely trail, lovely trail. We've got a timeout on the floor. So once again, this quarter starting very slow for uh, Cospin and uh, three minutes, almost uh, two and a half minutes in, and uh, we've got we've got uh, Ferro Via Viario on the board and having uh, scored nine points and uh, Cospin only managing two in that two and a half minutes so uh, definitely major adjustments that need to be made by the coach absolutely absolutely and you certainly want to uh, reiterate as the coach you know share, share the ball even more share the ball even more and just make sure that you find your open man you find the easiest make closest to the basket the shots will come but later on let everyone just gain traction within the game closer and get the easy ones it's the easy ones that steadily add up and that addition adds to your confidence as well well out of the timeout Langston, baseline drive, the pull-up, the save to Malala, and uh, Ferroviario with the ball. Oh, on the three from the wing, Elvis Huana. That looked good the moment it left his hands. 28, the lead for Ferroviario. Randria Mampianona can't finish on the three. Mofu Nanya. What a nice cut into the key. Shouldering the defender and the finish with the left. Once again, it's that awareness that I've got my man that's trailing and definitely on that cut. Let me feed him, reward him for that run. Boom, goes up, gets fouled and one. I'll tell you. Sure. I'll tell you what uh, I like about uh, Chidumafa Mofunyana is that uh, if you look at uh, the way he walks, he's got a bit of a gait to his walk, but it doesn't impede him at all, at all and uh, really plays the game well. I mean, is a starter on the game, on, uh, on this uh, Ferroviario team, and uh, clearly showing that uh, no disability is going to hold him back oh yes absolutely because that's the beauty about the game as well because it realigns the entire body structure and you can be you know a six foot or three foot guy but your ability will always be still be able to play yeah absolutely. absolutely you will not be deterred malala on the drive inside shot clock violation by uh, ferroviario as, as we saw them, oh, Cospin finally making their maiden three for the game. And uh, so hopefully that will then also now steadily settle them into uh, the game going and finishing this uh, quarter stronger. Stronger. Nice drive there by Langston. Well, Mady, the attempted save, out of bounds. Well, an empty possession for Cospin and it will be Ferroviario ball. Malale. Mofunanya, left corner. Well, will step back for the three and a ball. Baptista right there 
to coral the ball coach not too concerned with that even flashing a young smile uh, to his players there that is coach louise certainly a bit more relaxed uh, than he was yesterday and uh, yeah which would be encouraging to his players as well Batista makes his first two for two successful trip there from the charity strike Amando Baptista the captain of uh, this Ferroviario team there is a steal now down the floor and the finish Elvis Juana uses his body very well there to shield and finish strong there under the hoop the lead is 31 for Ferroviario Umedi triple team spills to the floor scramble more substitutions there on the floor for Cospin Orlando Rahaja Niaina in the game Ricky Razakaria also in the game for Cospin. Langston, the pull up. The push down the floor. Mofa. Oh! <laughs> More onto the pound on the man's head with authority. <laughs> ashes to ashes, dunks to dunks. <laughs> Razakaria on the pull up. Coulter, sandwiched by uh, Malala and uh, Mofu Nanya, and on the break. You definitely have to appreciate that finish there. Strong oh, with that lefty. Man, reminds Lef me of my youth. Le lefty dunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rahajinaina with the three from outside well Mo Mofunyanya on that basket looked to be a uh, defensive play after the Rahajani Naina three of Cospin so falling to the floor in the act of boxing out so the spillage wiped off and uh, Baptista turns it over almost a red turn over there for Beira reprieve for Cospin let's see what they can cook up here top of the key Omedi on the drive Mofunanya will pick up the foul So we've seen the front court of Cospin, Emmanuel Umedi, on the drive from the top of the key. So we've seen them make those drives to the basket, but uh, you know they need to be closer. And by that we mean the ball needs to be dumped into the low post, and they can then make high percentage shots. You certainly it's working for for of the Ariel. You certainly need the high percentage look for uh, because you want to come as close as possible. Because yes, we've seen two threes falling for for them, but it's only by going inside that will open up those threes. So you definitely want to see that as Will Perry is now back on the floor. Mofu Nanya, oh lovely play. Oh, it's crisp. Thought about it from the three pointer drove inside the fake and step through Omedi over Mofunanya way to go inside there way to go inside Rahaja Ninaina picks up the foul and uh, Eli 
Randria Mampianona will check into the game for Cospin. Michael Murray also back in the game. Will Perry also back in the game. So uh, the coach Q, uh, the coach uh, uh, Juice, with three minutes left, wants to finish uh, the second quarter strong. Certainly, certainly, um, so, so that they just stamp a bit more of their authority to the game. So let's see what they can conjure up. Mofu Nanya can't get the three to go. Perry keeps the loose ball alive, stolen away by Razakaria, the fake. Certainly have to finish that better there. Have to finish it better there on that break. As let's see what the revs are calling, Beira ball. Beira ball and uh, great defense there um, to them. On what can easily be considered a failed attempt because you want to, uh, to, to, to get some result of a fast break. Perry brings it up. Nemamade has uh, checked into the game as well as uh, Mungwambe for Ferroviario. Beira to inbound. Cospin in the penalty now, so uh, that's going to send uh, Ferroviario to the free throw line every time they are fouled. And an opportunity now for uh, the captain, Armando Baptista. Makes his first there. Two for two from the charity stripe there by Baptista. The lead is 31 for Ferroviario and a steal. Ferroviario move it around. Three is short for Mungwambe down the floor, Randria Mampianona. Great finish there on that break. See if, we, if they can cook up one or two more stops before halftime there as Rahajinaina with the steal and the flush. Way to certainly go there. You definitely want to take that sort of uh, momentum into the half, Anko. Um, well, they want to close the quarter strong as well. The lead is 27 for Ferroviario. Not out of reach for this Cospin team. If Andrea Mampianona. If there's one thing that the game of basketball will teach you is certainly numbers. If you can put them up in the first, I can definitely also put them up in the second. So this game is definitely far from over. Well, like you will say that a basketball is a game of uh, runs, ebbs, flows, peaks and troughs. And uh, right now, the Cospin team putting together somewhat of uh, a young run. And Coach Luis will definitely want to resettle matters with his team, Beira. Well, Q has an ear into the timeout, and we're going to cross over to him. Well, I am courtside here, just taking a little bit in of what Coach Lewis is trying to address, and the focus really is on trying to make sure that they don't settle for the three and they attack the rim because he's saying that they're giving up fast break opportunities off the jump shot and from what i can pick up they're just going to make that adjustment they're going to take a little bit of time with the shot clock and they're going to go back in to the to the game on that strategy well thank you very much q and uh, with 112 to play in the second quarter, Cospin will want to take those instructions from their coach into 
the third quarter. Rabi Bisowa has checked into the game. Jerry, baseline three, doesn't go. Certainly put in too much mustard on that and go missing everything. There's now Bearers on the attack. Ner Mamade. Oh, one legged. That was smooth. Jumper. Certainly Dirk Nowitzki would be proud of that. Randria Mampianona can't get the three to go. Murray with the rebound. Ferroviario down the floor, the push. And uh, Randria Mampianona will pick up the foul. Uh, with the 23.4 to play. Well, getting into uh, Mungwambe's cylinder. And because of the penalty that uh, Kospin are in, is going to send uh, Ayad Mungwambe to the free throw line. Mungwambe has certainly had a strong second quarter there for Beira. Um, Claw certainly coming in strong there with some key points and key plays there inside and outside. 30 point lead now for uh, Ferro Viario. A 23.4 to play. Perfect trip. Ayad Mungwambe. Randria Mampianona short on the three and this final 10.4 seconds of uh, the second quarter can uh, be a uh, Ferro Viario possession Perry down the floor the three from the corner doesn't go for Mungwambe Rahajinaina Attempting that long range bomb and uh, nearly getting it in. And that will do it for the second quarter. So at halftime, once again, Ferroviario in pole position and uh, really making it uh, a strong and uh, difficult game for Cospin. Cospin right now in a double digit hole. And it's going to take a mammoth task to dig themselves out of. And at halftime, Cospin 23, Ferroviario 54. And the actual factuals. As you can see, uh, what, you know, one of the reasons for the hole that Cospin is in, you know, shooting eight for 23 from two and only two for 19 from three, while on the other end, Beira is shooting 17 for 21, showing you that the big men are certainly putting the work inside and three for 10 from the, from the, uh, from the beyond the arc and free throws as well for Cospin are very low, only getting Two free throws and making
Well, at the halfway mark, it is Cospin 23, Ferroviario Beira 54. And uh, it's been an entertaining uh, first half. And a uh, couple of standout players from uh, Ferroviario. And they've really taken this game to Cospin, taking it by uh, the scruff of the neck. And here we're talking about that man right there, uh, Chidumafa Mofunanya. Definitely making sure that he stamps his authority inside, outside. Uh, and, uh, you know, sharing the love. And we had that big three uh, earlier. And then, bang, another one there. Just shows you when you move the ball, your shooters will be opened. And you will get all the right results. As we got <laughs> that big, big play. Can I call him Big Zulu? Mofunyana <laughs> with the jam. Definitely throwing out the bombs. Definitely throwing out the bombs, and you certainly do not have to wonder too much why Beira has held such a big lead. And those are some of the uh, first half highlights for you. Cospin Bench now waiting patiently for the third quarter. Two of 19, you're not going to win too many games shooting at that percentage, but I have said before, they live by the three and die by the three, and that strategy can pay merit. Right now you understand why we have such a large gap in the score differential is because of their inability to convert. Free throws also come in as a factor, but it tells you that they are so over-reliant, the discrepancy that one of two against the 11 of 17 is, is an indicator that they are just the reliance on their perimeter jump shooting, and it's really, really crazy, um, and I think that's got to be an adjustment made we saw that Cospin uh, in the first game have got bigs that they can rely on especially when they go on the interior and another stat that stands out is uh, the assist number four to eleven and now we're seeing quite a bit of ISO basketball from the Malagasy's as they try and make inroads into this lead 
from a coaching perspective, if you look at it, what, are we, what adjustments can you make going into the second half? Well, one of the biggest ones, Quinton, has got to be the rebounding, right? So Deberia is out-rebounding them quite far right now. If they're going to give themselves a chance, they've got to get second-chance opportunities and they've got to keep Deberia off the boards. Deberia right now have five second-chance opportunities. And as we see there, Mufunyana, that man has got to be kept in check. He has been phenomenal. He had two thunderous dunks in that first quarter, particularly at the beginning of the game, to get the momentum going for his team as well. You said what a difference a day makes. Yesterday he barely saw any court time. He had eight minutes, had five fouls, and today showcasing a little bit more of what's in the offensive bag as he comes through with those eight points at a high efficiency rate. But since we're talking efficiency, let's also talk a bit about deficiency. But you look, you look at that and what he gets done. He's not scared to shoot the ball from the outside. They have distributed the ball well, but the style of play, Ferroviario, they stay within the offensive system and we've seen different looks on the defensive end from Cospin. They've tried a little bit of man, they've tried some zone and you can't really go zone against this team. Irma Funyana, that was an emphasis jam to just, you know, spark the momentum and on this side, putting the player on a poster and Chiru Mafa Mofonyana has been a standout in that first half. He really has, Quinton. And you know, you said it, they play a particular style of basketball. A style of basketball that's really very much Southern African in that way. You look, they have fast break points, 24 fast break points, 17 points off turnovers. And so that tells us that their offense has also really come from their defense. They've been getting stops and um, forcing those turnovers against this Cospin team. Well, let's talk the other end because Cospin, how you fix shooting woes, you know we talk about shooters have got to stay shooting, but shot selection has got to come into it as well. Ferroviario de Beira will continue to sit in their zone. They, they'll push out a little bit further because they are not making any shots. And comfortably, that will allow them to pick up defensive rebounds and push in. Umede has got to become a, lot of bit, a little bit better in the second half. Kulta has been pretty much non-existent inside the painted area. These are two bigs that can be serviced and can come within the flow of the offense but what they've got to do is either drive in and kick out or play inside out they've got to make a choice because they, they can't live and die from the perimeter and unless the, uh, we say that now and then you know we come out in the second half and knowing how commentators curse or blessing works is that uh, you will find that they, they start hitting the first second third three and this is the kind of team that can go on a tear and the streaky shooter is far away from the tip off i mean from resuming in the second half you want to keep it locked here because second half action coming to you live from Ellis Park Arena. just uh, 50 seconds away with uh, the third quarter.
So uh, Juice, you know, just looking at uh, some of the numbers, you know, uh, with uh, Cospin, haven't uh, had anyone been able to break into double digits. Highest scorer, Livio Ratianarivo with seven points, but uh, Ferroviario as well, they also don't have anyone in double digits. And uh, Ayad Mongwambe leading the pack with the all scorers with nine points. So it's definitely very interesting in uh, looking at the figures and the numbers, um, or because it definitely shows you that uh, only one player has not scored for 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 Beira. and you're definitely seeing just how the love is being spread and being shared uh, for everybody to score. Mofunanya on the attack. Way to move the ball once again there and opening those gaps and finding them in the paint there. Mofunanya going back uh, to the charity stripe there. You know, you move the ball enough, the gaps will open and you will find your easier scoring opportunities. Well, nothing holds him back. And... Uh, He's just always in attack mode. Absolutely. He's really in attack mode. And now at the line uh, for two free throws. Ferroviario going with the Obise, Murray, Perry, Mofunanya, as well as... Uh, Nemamade and uh, Cospin going with uh, Umedi Razakaria Rahaja Niaina Coulter and uh, Ratia Narivo Mofun Nanya standing now at joint leading scorers at nine points uh, alongside uh, Monungwabe so it's an interesting one uh, indeed. He just had that air ball from the charity stripe, which could have taken him to 10 points. Mofunanya. Nerma Made. Well, long arms. Obise, four on the shot clock. Mofunanya puts it up. Umedi with the rebound. Cospin, the push down the floor. Lovely fake, the stop, the pop. Rajan Arrivo. Certainly works better. Get rid of your guy, get your sweet spot, and pull up. Looking very good there. Rajan Arrivo now has nine for Cospin. Perry chasing down that save by uh, Mofunanya. Backcourt violation. And it'll be Cospin ball. Pleasant exchange between uh, Perry and uh, the official. See here what Cospin can cook up. Ratian Arrivo can't finish on that baseline jumper. Nemamade can't get uh, the corner three to go. The lead is still 30 for Ferroviario. Rahaja Niaina. Oh, the floater. Banks it in. Looking really good there. Once again, you fake, get rid of your man, find class. Bank is opened. Thank you, sir. Well, making foreign exchange. In the heart of Johannesburg. In the heart of Johannesburg. <laughs> Perry, pull up elbow. Rahajaniaina. Splitting defenders, puts it up, draws the foul. Way to go there. Definitely looks like uh, 
They are starting the quarter on a bit of good momentum there. And let's see what they can so accumulate within the quarter because you definitely want to see them finish this entire affair on a strong note. Misses his first one there from the stripe. Empty trip for Orlando Rahaja Niaina. The rebound to uh, Mofunanya. Murray wants to work inside. Mofunanya against Coulter. Murray at the top. Four on the shot clock. Murray, wing. Off the mark. Coulter with the rebound. Ratiana Rivo down the floor. Put a bit too much mustard there on that advance pass as we see the ball go out of bounds there. Good movement of the ball, uh, but they just couldn't find the completion there. As a nice, strong drive there. Nice, strong drive there. You would have whoo, almost looked like you was going to put it in with authority there. Well, just so much uh, mustard <laughs> on that finish and a steal again. Nemamade, well, he can't finish in transition. Perry will pick up the foul. And it'll be a side ball. And will Perry will pick up his third foul and that's gonna send him to the bench probably uh, not going to see him for the rest of uh, this uh, six and a half minutes of uh, the third quarter certainly gives a good opportunity for Malale to come in and uh, uh, run the affairs here on the uh, on the floor for Beira so let's see what he can uh, sort of cook up uh, playing at the one day Mofunanya Malale on the outside Murray to the rebound and a whistle. Maybe a push from behind. So uh, Ferroviario will concede the ball and it will go to Cospin. And uh, going on the six minute mark, it is a 30 point lead for Ferroviario. If you are Cospin, you certainly want to, as we see that three-point uh, attempt going, but getting the rebound once again. Langston, second point, second chance opportunities, paying dividend there for Cospin. What you want to do as Cospin is to get together a few stops, because at this moment on a 30-point cushion, you do not want to be going uh, pound for pound, basket for basket with the other guys. You definitely want to make sure that you get a few stops, get a few finishes on the other end, and you just cut this deficit that you're currently in. Ismail Nermamade picks up the foul. Well, clearing foul by uh, Ismail. <laughs> Ismail Nemamade. There also seemed to be a bit of confusion there between the Cospin players and you know, what, not knowing if it was a pick and roll or, but finally in the, in the end it works out for them that they retain the possession. Now well, Langston driving inside couldn't finish on the floater out of bounds and uh, it will go to Ferroviario Malale with the advance Mofunanya floater is short gets rid of it too quickly there and just gives it right back to Beira did the big man but they get the reprieve and get the ball back Coulter with uh, the rebound. And, uh, we haven't seen Lomario Todi Masi Naina 
in quite a while and he's checked into the game the number seven for Cospin way to follow that play there did Murray and uh, staying with it and going all the way and getting that block there like a hunter seeing its prey the man from uh, Brooklyn New York sending the man from uh, Wilson North Carolina back home <laughs> on that block <laughs> send him right packing hit that ball to the rafters well Michael Murray you know he'd be welcome uh, warm he'd receive a warm welcome uh, at the uh, Shemba church <laughs> the beard and the fro <laughs> they will certainly welcome him with all doors open go <laughs> 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 Yeah, th th that's a white city <laughs> in the heart of uh, Eteguini. Great steal and drive and finish there for Beira from that inbound. Took it coast to coast. Colter, the double team. Colter to the basket. The last touch on uh, Umedi. So it will be Ferroviario ball, Coulter short on that play. The Green Army definitely making sure that they are not making anything easy for him there in the on the uh, in the inside. I think there was an arm extension there by Malale. Yep, elbow. Uh, whether inadvertent or not, the ref will certainly call at any time. Tough catch for Umedi. Langston. Can't finish on the drive. Todi Masinaina. Randria Mampionona. Short on the three. Murray to Malale. Nermamade. Can shoot, but will go baseline. Strong take, but uh, can't finish. Strong finish, uh, strong drive there indeed. And I think that was a good call by the refs to just keep it flowing as Cospin gets yet another three on the other side. Rashawn Langston with the three. Reminds me of uh, one of the world's famous poets, Langston Hughes. No relation. The name. The name indeed. Strong. Big aggressive man. move by uh, Helton Obise. True indeed. In the low post. Langston again off the mark on the three. And the rebound, Mungwambe. Obise. The high low. They can't complete it with Mungwambe, but out of bounds. And uh, they get a reprieve because the possession will stay with them. Ferroviario, ball uh, knocked out of bounds by uh, Cospin and uh, changes as well for Cospin. And at this point, you certainly need and hope that Cospin can conjure up some ideas and uh, some threads um, because they are not able to break this 30 point cushion still. Well, it's been at 30 for quite some time since uh, the second quarter. Indeed. And uh, they just haven't found a way to chip away at this lead. And uh, you made a good point of uh, them needing to make stops. Pound for pound isn't going to work. Absolutely. And they just haven't been able to make any kind of stops and to bring it to even 20. Langston, the floater, a rim shot on that one. Novella, Malale, the stop, can't get the pop. Obise, Rahajinaina. Well, a whistle on that uh, Raha 
ja Niaina attempt, and it's going to send him to the free throw line. So you're not sure if he was attempting a Euro step or a Anna Lamanga step. Uh, the oh, shout out to the hometown. But uh, either, either, either way, he gets reprieve and uh, gets sent to the charity stripe. Nothing there on his first one. Empty trip once again there because those are the little bunnies that you need to hope for or that they can steadily chip away at, at your deficit. But if you're not making your free throws and in the on the other hand, Malale makes another two. Yeah, a quick score in then transition. There's the, there's the score once again getting bigger. The, the hole is getting deeper. Ratiani Arrivo. Oh, the three from the wing for Livio. Ratiani Arrivo. Well, they tried inside there to go behind the back, but uh, the defense was certainly awake for that stop. And let's see, with one minute to go in the quarter, what Copson Copson can cook up. Hopefully, it will be, then be something that can give them a bit of a momentum shift as we see substitutions on the floor for them. Langston throws it away. Novella down the floor. The easy finish. Oh, under 50 seconds to play now in the third quarter. And uh, just uh, before we close the third quarter, we might as well QTP and uh, close the door. Turn off the lights. This game has been over since the second quarter. Uh, we still have a whopping 10 minutes to go in the fourth. Beira certainly stamping their authority and reminding all why they are the current champions of the division. Um, so, uh, so let's just then see how the coach will finish as far as his roster is concerned. Well, even in the domestic, uh, uh, in their domestic league, uh, uh, Mogul Juice, they are three-time champions. So, uh, you know, they are really holding it down. And I mean, oh, this team has been in existence for many, many years as they were founded in 1924. So there is some great history within this team in Mozambique. Well, Obise picks up the foul after missing on that uh, shot attempt underneath the basket. There's the entry pass inside, goes up and denied by the rim. So look like uh, he... He swung his elbow. Mm. Oh, on that got him with got him with the hand. Oh, certainly, that hand extension. You can hurt a man. <laughs> Ratyanirova throws it away down the floor, and uh, Hilario Malale can't finish to close out the third quarter once again 31 point lead for the team out of uh, Beira in Mozambique Ferro, Via, Ferro Viario and uh, a strong dominant lead right now as we get ready for the fourth quarter and at the end of the third it's Cospin 36 Ferro Viario Beira 67 As you can see, Mko, once again, Beria continues to go inside. They continue to stamp their authority from the inside. Uh, 23 for 34 from within the paint to on the other end, 10 for 32 for Cospin. Three points, there's a few more here and there, but it's the free throws that continue to, to hurt them the most.
the score differential. If you contrast that with the bench of Ferroviario de Beira to my right hand side, they're much more relaxed and I think they're going to try and close this out in style. And uh, what you can expect from De Beira coming out of this is just execution, execution, execution as we head into the fourth. Back to you, Mko. Oh, thank you very much, Q. The breakdown of uh, the third quarter break. And uh, the different dispositions of uh, the teams. And both coaches uh, on the sidelines, so they're going to coach until the final whistle. And uh, Ferro Viario have made some changes. Razakaria, well, can't finish on the break. Hilario Malale. You definitely need each and every one of those, Mko. On a breakaway, you certainly need to take advantage and make sure that you finish each and every little opportunity that you have. Uh, ball bearer to inbound Malale bringing it up. Looking at it. Dondo. Couldn't finish. And Randria. Mampionona can't finish on the three attempt, on the break. And all alone down the floor, Elvis Juana is going to finish. Count the basket and one. Once again, it is those little breakaway points that you steadily want to finish and take advantage of. And unfortunately for Cospin, they do not finish on their end. And then Beira comes back on the other end and finish and goes to the charity stripe. Nothing there, but gets the rebound. Reset there, Malale. Fresh 14 seconds on the shot clock, but now down to five. In and out for Juana. Now that was uh, Jerry Rabibisowa. Rahaja Niaina from the corner. Can't get it to go. And a whistle. Looks like Cospin is now trying to implore a full court press uh, there, but Beira breaks it easy and almost breaks the rim as well. <laughs> Dondo, just an easy finish. And pass dumped like to Sunday him. <laughs> Nicely flushed there by Ndondo, uh, going deep inside the paint. Razakaria, baseline drive, hangs. Rapipisoa, Rahaja Niaina, floater in the key, gets the bounce. Malale gets it to uh, Mungwambe. Wow, Novella air balls the three. Randria Mampionona, Rahaja Niaina, drive, kick. Looks like Cosprin has put some intensity into their defensive movements there Shit. for uh, not knowing if it's a bit too late, but it's very good to see that they can steadily still put more effort into their play and hopefully finish this, this game on a high note they for their next affair. They definitely want to finish this game strong. And that ball movement by uh, uh, Ferroviario let down by uh, the turnover Rahaja Niaina Randria Mampianona to uh, Razakaria cross court Coulter 
baseline jumper. Love to see him get closer to the bucket there. Um, so sharing the love is Beira. Moving it around, finding the open man, nothing there. Oh, whistle off the ball. And uh, it looks like uh, Joel Ndondo will concede the foul. I'd certainly love to see Michael Coulter getting closer to the hoop there Mko, instead of uh, conceding to take long jumpers inside the paint. Well, it's what they should have been uh, doing since yesterday. So, so some of the coaches' adjustments right now somewhat questionable because uh, we haven't seen Alpha Solandraini since uh, the first quarter can score in the low post but uh, is comfortable in the low in uh, from three-point range Razakaria with the baseline jumper thrown away by Mungwambe Rahajani Aina short on the three. Oh, there's the steal out of bounds way to stay with it there but the ref calls the ball out of bounds as you see michael murray coming back onto the floor there together with uh, mofu nanya Malale Novella inside drive and kept alive that well, was kept alive by Ndondo and uh, tipping it to Murray Murray couldn't finish could as well the funny there did Murray I wonder if the afro got in his way <laughs> <laughs> Well, one, two, moves down the floor. A, Malale. A basic fundamental there in the art of the fast break. Mko. Give it up and you shall get it back. Well, filling the lanes, both Novella and Malale. And you see the outlet to uh, Novella by Malale and then Malale filling his lane and getting it back, finishing. And now an opportunity to complete the three-point play. And under five minutes to play. And the lead is uh, 33. Make that 34. More substitutions on the floor there. As we see more bodies coming in for Beira. Have the young... Mutakate coming in there. Well, Daniel Mutakate yesterday getting a DNP, and that uh, was also for the captain, uh, Amanda Baptista, and they've gotten some uh, minutes today. Rahajani Aina against Murray. Well, in and out on that three attempt, but Coulter on the follow. Definitely something for Coulter to ponder in terms of staying close, getting those rebounds and finishing right in under the hoop. Murray cross court, Malale. Oh, the danger man is in the game. Oh, easy finish. Very Just crisp. driving. Crisp on the touch. On the baseline and <laughs> nice soft touch by uh, Mofunanya. 
Coulter cross court. Razakaria. That was a long two there. Missed everything as Murray brings it up. Time out on the floor. As Beira continues to extend their lead and with coach uh, Louise also getting deeper into his roster and giving some of his personnel more time on the dance floor. 36 point lead for Ferroviario and uh, 3.42 to play. They're drawing up some X's and O's, hopefully giving instruction that will allow his team to just finish on a good momentum there. Well, courtside, the focus really is on the shooting guard, Eli Ram Randia Mampuyanona. What they're going to try and do is get him as many shots as possible. You've seen that he's been off rhythm, and uh, I think there's going to be a focus, an offensive focus on him. We're going to keep a watch and see how the execution happens. Well, Q, uh, absolutely correct. And, uh, you know, the awareness of the coach, Eli Randriaman Pianona, has been off um, the whole game. And you contrast his uh, performance today, yesterday, finishing with 14 points and uh, four rebounds, four assists. And uh, three of 10 from three point range. And has been uh, awfully quiet today Malale from the baseline can't get it to go Ratia Narivo Randria Mampianona finally with the three Must be a very beautiful feeling to see that ball going in there from range. Um, or something that can he can certainly take away from this game to say, okay, let us reload and relock for the next affair. Well, under two and a half to play. Ratian Nerova. Livio with the right corner three. The threes uh, seem to be falling now uh, for Cospin um, so as uh, they look to salvage some pride for this affair and uh, looking good they are hitting the half century mark. Mofunanya on the drive. Taking on the defender. Randria Mampianona. Alter with the rebound. Langston. Well, rim shot on the three. Radian Arrivo with the foul. And uh, Mofunanya will uh, retain the ball for his team, Ferroviario. Malale on the drive. Baptiste. Mofunanya. I was looking for a rhythm dribble. Rhythm but then dribble a, uh, an air ball. Looked Steph Curry-esque on that catch and on that rhythm drill but unfortunately for him that release just couldn't reciprocate the rece the, the reception of that ball malale down the floor the chase by langston and malale makes it a 32 point lead 65 seconds to play 
Randria Mampionona with a three from the wing. Oh, and the response from Malale on the other end. Cospin has made more threes in this quarter than they had previously in this entire game. So they look like they are certainly finishing strong from beyond the arc. Randria Mampionona off the mark on that three. And down the floor, Juana. Mutakate can't get the three to go. Langston, bounce pass. Ratia Narivo. Short on the three. 20 seconds to play. And a uh, shot clock and game clock. equal and uh, this will be the last possession of the game for a uh, ferroviario and they will dribble out the clock and that will do it for this first in our quadruple header this afternoon and a, a small contingent of uh, Malagasy fans in the stands. And it will be... In the, in the in the last quarter finishing with eight of 42 uh from beyond the arc versus uh uh, uh bearers three to uh 23 and it's the free throws their free throws will certainly be one matter that they need to look at well that's mogul juice and Jovu with the actual factuals and hey we take a look at the full game highlights and the Langston hitting the three from the wing. And Ratiana Rivo as well getting into the action with a three from the wing as well. And this team was very quiet throughout the day. And Joel Ndondo, the pass from Baptista. Then another three from Ratiana Rivo as well. And down the floor, Hilario Malala, Malale with the finish. And then we have the full-time actual factuals for you. Juice, maybe you can do that uh, succinctly. Indeed, oh, uh, because some very good uh, matters to look at. You know, you like the assists. Uh, uh, 12 to Beira, 